morning man uh so today uh i was thinking about there's a new article on dr wilson's website and it's called is it a rogue world question mark and uh it's a really good article uh if you haven't seen it go check it out there's like on his website now there's an updates page uh it's at the top left and if you click on it he basically by month i think it started may of 2018 so i have like may june july august etc so it was one of the ones for ooh, i guess it was september maybe it was october now because i guess it just rolled over but anyway it's really easy to see it's at the bottom go check it out uh and what it says is uh, it contains a power teaching uh and this power teaching derives from uh the, what is it the way of mastery or a, a course in miracles which those two books which are also re recommended by dr wilson were supposedly channeled by uh jesus himself or jeshua ben joseph as maybe his more uh actual name at the time and jesus is a kind of a translation down that's a whole other discussion but anyway uh yeah, so kind of what the article says is like there's a lot of people out there who look at the world and look around and they see the evil and the destruction and the agony and the pain and the suffering and, you know, they become hopeless, right? Because it just seems like such a big problem to solve and, you know, there's so many people with so many issues. It just doesn't seem like there's any way, shape or form to rectify this issue. Is it even worth living anymore? You know, pretty, pretty brutal. Uh, mindset right um, but at the same time I, all of us can look around and see what they're talking about you know it's, it's uh, prevailing everywhere so this uh, article mentions the concept of we humans are created in the creator's image with the ability to create so think about that for a second what he's basically saying is that we create our own reality right we create our own reality and uh, a lot of this is uh, even proven in science uh, they have the law of attraction they have the placebo effect uh, they have the power of positive thinking all these things have been studied to some degree and proven uh, to be true uh, in the Bible it'll say you reap what you sow there's also uh, what is it knocking the door will open seeking you will find etc etc something along the lines a lot of Eastern cultures teach this as well. There are a lot of ancient teachings that just say uh, you create your reality. So the question proposed in the article is, is it a rogue world? Well, it can be if you want it to be, if you believe that. But you can also create heaven on earth if you believe the opposite. If you say, I want to act in accordance with love. I want to act in accordance with peace. I want to act in accordance with joy. Another way to say this is God's will. If you want to act in accordance with God's will, you will create heaven on earth as it is written in the Lord's prayer, right? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So uh, there's also, it, it kind of ties into this whole, there's an article on Dr. Wilson's website about the victim mentality and how you uh, give up your power, right? When you have this victim mindset. So think about the victim mindset. It's basically putting you uh in this box where things are happening to you because it's just something outside of your circumstances right a lot of, like a popular one is the color of your skin or uh the amount of money that you make uh etc etc maybe the parents that you had growing up etc etc right so if you dwell uh in these victimhood thoughts then you are literally creating a reality where you are the victim of those thoughts right you're you're actually in a sense giving up your power right you don't ever want to give up your power you know we are powerful and we want to wield our power for good so why would you ever want to give any of it up so uh yeah power teaching right we create our own reality and how do we do that with our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions you know so something that everybody needs to work on is keeping their uh, thoughts, emotions, uh, words that they speak, all in alignment. If we can do that, and then you have a lot of mastery and control over what's uh, being brought up, then you know it's, it, it becomes self-fulfilling. Everything that you begin to uh, create will manifest, right? And obviously, I, hopefully, you're creating good things, right? Not bad things. So. Yeah, don't get discouraged about doom and gloom. You know, put it to the side. I, another, another way to think of that, about that is everything is neutral. Everything is neutral. Don't label it. Labeling it is judgment. Judgment is a form of fear, right? It's not really a form of love. So 
you can have what they call innocent perception and just view everything as it is. Another way to think about that is as a child would view the world. You know, ch children just view things as they are and they just make commentary about them as they are. So uh, they're not tainted with uh, some of the things that we uh, have, some of the thought processes that we have when we get a little bit older. So yeah, create your own reality. So, you know, if you're tired, be not tired. If you're sick, be not sick, right? begin doing it it's not gonna happen instantaneously but I tell you what and I can speak from experience on this it will happen just be patient with it and be persistent with it and you know it's a little tough because it's easy to be sloppy and it's easy to see something on the news or something that will kind of turn it in the other direction but uh, I'm telling you just keep at it and uh, yeah that's another thing you know a, a really quick aside on that note is if anything like even the music or the content you're watching on uh, you know TV Netflix movies radio whatever it may be if that puts you in any negative st state just don't don't go there just get away from it you know uh, that way you can really focus on uh, manifesting positivity so anyway super cool article super real article power teaching create your own reality thanks